guys, that's um, you might guess from the intro, but we're going to be reviewing today my Runcam 2 Airsoft Edition. Let's jump in. Right, so from my game day videos, I've been looking at um, getting an additional canvas because one thing I noticed from the Rift gameplay videos, if you look at them, it's the perspective of the GoPro is really from a distance and although I'm telling you that there's people in them tree lines you can't really see them so I wanted something that I could use with an assault rifle base um, that would zoom in and show it, be able to show you the tree line and see where we're actually shooting at um, and I've done a lot of research and I've come up with the run cam um, they do do several different run cams um, which I'll post along the uh, top of the screen now um, and their various prices um, but I didn't like the plasticky look of them um, I'm reading in some of the forums and a lot of people who bought them said that the um, the, the plastic ones which is the Bunkan uh, scope cam light um, the attachment bracket you actually put on the gun tends to break a lot um, and they just they just don't look right for, for what I was going for so I did a lot more research and um, I found this which is the Runcam 2 Airsoft version um, comes in a nice little box just like the others um, bring out this is the main camera um, this is small it's made of metal um, the lens I actually got, and the lens is a swap up or, by the way, I got the 35mm uh, telephoto lens. That's good for zooming in to distances from 20 to 60 metres away, so I think that is perfect probably for an assault rifle range. Um, because we shoot, obviously, um, short to mid range anyway. Um, it feels nice, not very heavy. Um, really simple construction, so like I said, it's an all metal builder. The, um, lens cap is plastic um, not too sure within the airsoft edition whether this is reinforced the actual lens itself I'll have to look up that and obviously might have to put a lens protector in front of my gun at some stage um, really simple it's just got a Wi-Fi button on the, the top which you can connect it to the uh, phone app um, I'll see if I can just put down here um, like a little in-screen video of um, my phone showing all the different uh, settings within the app um, and then you've got the, the power on and off button um, I've, I've got this one set now to <coughs> auto record so when I press the power button it automatically starts recording rather than having to go into the phone app that way then it can be on my gun as long as it's fully charged I can press the button forget about it for the rest of the game um, go back into the footage afterwards and see what we've got um, it does come with a rechargeable battery if I can take it out um, so this is the uh, rechargeable battery it comes with it is replaceable so if the battery eventually dies you can uh, um, replace them and it's a 850 milliamps um, battery and that is supposed to be able to record for around about 90 minutes if you're recording at 720p at 120 fps or 60 minutes if you're doing it at 1080 at 650 fps not too sure what i'm going to record at yet because obviously it's still being in lockdown we've not uh, got to a game to actually use it um so once i've been to um a, a few games tried the, the different recording settings i will report back and let you know what um what settings I'm going to be using down in the comments. Um, what else you get in the box? Take all the time out. Now, you do get a um, cytoscope mount, which you can obviously clip together, put along the top of your scalp. Uh, um, your scope and then you've got an additional uh, picking a tinny rail at the top if you want any other attachments um, that also comes with spacers uh, that you can put inside the metal rings um, should you need to uh, change the circumference of it um, the one I use and I've already built this uh, already is 
It's a Piccadilly rail attachment for a 20 millimeter rail. Um, it's quick release. Um, and the actual base of it, this section, um, where the run cam clips into it is plastic. Um, but it feels quite a sturdy uh, connection. And it's got a tab on the front which holds the camera in place. So if I go to slip that in, you hear it click and that's completely solid. Um, and there's like little guiding lines which run um, around about the middle of the camera which it's also sliding to so it, it is really really sturdy on there so when you actually attach it to your rifle um, it's, it's, it's not really going to go anywhere so although you running around the camera will make it um, you know your footage jump up and down if your camera's straight for instance if you've got it on a, a bipod or you're resting it on a wall it is going to be nice and uh, a slim line um, you do get a couple of other connections in here so you get a standard usb uh, cable so you can recharge the battery or you can connect it up to your, your pc and transfer the footage if you want that way um, you do, oh, never think everywhere. <laughs> You do have a tripod mount if you want to mount it onto a tripod for whatever reason. We have another lens adapter. So if you, like I said, you can swap the lenses out if you want a bigger or smaller lens. Um, we'll do that with the adapters. You've got a small Allen key, um, which, oh, that, that's for attaching this base bit onto the rail section. Um, and then you've got a, I believe this is a, a TV out and power cable um, so you can connect it to um, like a, a small screen uh, monitor. Move this to one side. Um, there's no actual physical instruction manuals in the box uh, but what you do get is this little business card and if I spin it round you can see there it's got links to where you can find an online manual for it. Um, I don't really need needed the manual um, because you know it's very simple and straightforward the only thing I did need to look at was for the memory card um, settings because as you know with most cameras they don't always accept um, certain levels of memory card now this one will accept a micro SD up to 64 gigabytes it can't be anything higher than that and it does need to be a class 6 um, micro SD card or above now I've uh, bought one off Amazon um, the memory card when I, I bought the camera um, and I will link that in the description below and for what I paid for these on Amazon um, and I will link it in, on, on the price below so what I paid uh, which should be on screen now um, there was a promotion on at the time, so I saved £15.20, it should have been £151.99, um, £15.20 off, so this actually cost me £136.79p posted, and I've since been back onto Amazon, and the price of them now, and this is from today's date, which is the 10th of March, there's an, an apply 10% voucher up there at the moment. I don't know if it's just for my account or if it's for everyone's account, but the price of them now are 143 99 and then you can save an additional 10% by clicking the voucher if that option's open to you. I'm a Prime member, I don't know if it's something to do with that or if it's for everyone or just for me, but if you go on, have a look, you might be able to get the 10% uh, the on. Um, attaching it to the gun is really simple. Um, I'm going to demonstrate on my 556, which is the primary rifle I'm going to be using it. It just literally clips on right in front of your scope mount. You fasten the uh, quick release button, and that's it on. It sits right in front of the scope mount. Um, and even though it looks probably like on camera, um, if I can turn it this way so you can see that it's obscuring half the lens or it looks like it's obscuring half the lens of the scope when you actually look down the scope it's not um, <coughs> you don't sort of don't see it through the scope I will see if I can do um, a, a video capture through the scope so you can actually see it in um, like I say it does look nice on the actual rifle itself 
um, and it is nice and secure so it's, it's, it's not going anywhere. So I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get some game day footage for it. Um, probably for my next game day at Rift. See what the footage is like and the quality like and, and see what it turns out like. But um, I think this is an excellent buy considering if you think of the other ones which were available. Um, and I do know they've recently bought out another run cam scope cam 2 which is of a metal construction. It looks a little bit beefier, a little bit longer. Um, but I couldn't find any UK stockists for it. Um, US dollars it's 139.99 um, no, I've not done a currency converter on it but you can sort of see that this one costs 149 dollars in the US but it was 143.99 um, on Amazon and most re UK retailers sold it at that so I would presume going off that that it would be around about 135 pound ish um, once I, it actually stocks in the UK so this is what it looks like on the rifle, um, just so you got a better perspective than the desk camera. Um, as I said, it does look like it's obscuring the scope, but if I can aim it correctly, don't worry there's no uh, bullets in, you can sort of see through the scope there, um, and it's not obscuring the, um, the view. Hopefully the, that's a better picture, you can actually see the camera through there. Um, and that's the top profile look. So simply on game day, batteries in. Press the button. That's it recorded. That's all you've got to do. It's quite annoying with the light on um, and the way the light's flashing. Um, when you look through the scope, you can actually see the light flashing, which is uh, probably going to be quite annoying. So I'll, I'll need to see if I can actually change it so there's no light on. Um, and hopefully just with a beep um, is enough indication that it's actually working. But I, I think it looks uh, pretty decent, tucked out of the way. Um, like I said, on game day, I'll play around with a few settings. I'll try moving it up to the top end of the rail. I'll try, um, you know, the 720 and the 1080 just to see what the different footages are like. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with it compared to um, like the scope cam light which just looks cheap and flimsy um, and like I said there's been a lot of things online which says the uh, bracket breaks underneath whereas um, this one I think, I think we're going to be okay because it's nice sturdy and metal construction so if there's anything else further you want to uh, do on it like I said I will do a follow up video when I've actually got a game day um, but I think for the, the price you pay for it it's an uh, excellent bit of kit um, if you like what you see in the content, um, please consider liking and subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Cheers guys.